Oh my gosh, this room is overwhelming. Welcome back to the channel and my goals for today. It's Tuesday, which means there are no sales or we didn't get up and go thrifting. There's no garage sales. As far as I know, there's no auctions, although I haven't looked. My short-term goal for today, him. I need to get him where he is accessible. I have a lot of really good t-shirts, jackets, etc. that need to be photographed. I tried to hang, photograph them. It just, it was not working in the manner that I needed it to. So, I need to move all this crap out of the way. I might actually pull that desk outside and paint it. Hmm. Maybe. There's a piece on the bottom that Rich needs to retrofit before I can paint that. Maybe I'll paint though. Maybe I'll paint something today. It's not supposed to rain, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see how our day goes. Um, but I need to get him out so I can get photos of the t-shirts and the jackets that I currently have. I also think I'm going to pull these out right now and stick those up on Facebook Marketplace. They're nothing like super fancy, but they're cool. Um, probably like $20 for all of them. I got them for free, so I don't have any money into them. Got those listed for 25 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Originally, these things were like 50 bucks plus tax. Has the original price tags on it. Bed Bath & Beyond, $14.99 for a set of four. That's crazy. And then these, I don't know why these are cheaper, but those are $9.99 for a set of four. So yeah, 50 bucks plus tax. Whew. Those are some uh, pricey pool hall decor glasses. But I also do need to grab one of these bed frames and stick it out for a porch pickup, 25 bucks. I am already getting super overwhelmed slash distracted. Every time I look at this, I get frustrated and just walk away. I am going to take this upstairs, get good photos, get this listed on eBay and Etsy. And then I'll come down and I'll look at this again and maybe I won't walk away. Maybe I will. I'm not even going to lie. I am pretty sure this was a bad buy. The problem lies in the fact that it's not very big at all. <laughs> it's like a lap throw blanket. I can't get rid of those. I have to have the big, big, like queen size afghans in order to sell them. Now, I'm not going to be too hard on myself because I've only got $3 invested. I bought it from a yard sale. So what I think I'm going to do is not stick it online because I cannot for the life of me get good photos. It does have a really nice pattern. It just doesn't photograph well at all. So I think I'm going to fold it up and stick it in the antique booth for like 18 bucks and see if I can move it that way. And in the meantime, I'm going to list this big Afghan granny squares loveliness for probably around $45. This one is very large and it also has great colors. I am making progress. If nothing else, at least I have like a hallway going here. I think I can probably drag him through here, scooch this over slightly. I am currently getting this on Etsy. It is already listed on eBay. In the process, I kind of just moved stuff over. <laughs> I, didn't really, I didn't really move a lot of it out of the way. I just moved it somewhere else. I just need to get this guy this way. But I did find something I had forgotten about. The Stanley Toolbox. We garbage picked this a while ago and I just never got it listed. And then I got buried and then I forgot about it. So it is unburied. It's in pretty good condition. I have no idea what it's worth yet. I'm going to look it up and get it posted on Facebook Marketplace. Well, apparently these are not worth all that much. You can pick them up at like Walmart or a hardware store for $10 to $15. So I threw this up on Swap for $5 and somebody's going to come porch pick it up before 3 There we go. Five bucks is five bucks when you garbage picked it. This is still here. Not sure if that's going to get picked up today or not. He said he was going to. And I was going to drag this guy through here over into this area. But now I'm thinking there's better light in this area. So I'm just trying to clear some stuff around him and get him situated to where I've got good light for photos. Um, but I think I am going to leave him over on this side. Not 
great shots. I did kind of maneuver this around, but we do have this third eye blind t-shirt that we bought a while back. Uh, the pictures turned out okay. I, uh, I'm not thrilled with them, but we do better this way than with the flat lay. This is from the Bonfire Tour 1998 Vintage. I am going to take it off the mannequin to do flat lay measurements. You can kind of see what I'm saying now, right? It just, it just doesn't pop. But it is a lot easier for me to get measurements this way than on the mannequin. And because this is 1998 Tour t-shirt, it is being listed on eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. So I'm going to get at that right now. Welcome to the next weird thing on our list. Yeah, he's taking the bike apart. So we bought this a while back at Salvation Army for, I believe, $15. This is the, the Bromley, is that what it's called? Yes, the uh, Roll Fast. Bromley Roll Fast. Now, this might spark your memory. Those right there, those Shimano wing nuts. Uh, we actually had a weird offer of $100 for the tires, the rims, and the wing nuts. That's it. There is some other good parts on this bike, I believe. So what we're going to do is take the wheels off, get those ready to be boxed up and shipped out FedEx style. For $100, the guy already paid for them via PayPal. He's got his own FedEx shipping account. All we're doing is boxing them. Or no, actually FedEx is boxing them, aren't they? FedEx is boxing them. We're just taking them we're up We're just there. taking them up there. So that's easy. And then we're going to part out the rest of this bike. And uh, hopefully make a little bit more money. These wing nuts are freaking amazing. What did you think we can make? What? What did you, you just say? Oh, I... I nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the wing nuts are what... Uh, where it's at right there so yeah 100 bucks for some uh tires and rims and wing nuts that we bought at salvation army with the rest of it for 15. dude i totally forgot how much this freaking shirt was being asked i just re-looked it up to list it people are asking anywhere between like 75 and 85 dollars and a lot of them are out of stock which means they have sold for that price what Ours is little wash wear, so I'm going to list it for 65 but shock value alone is uh, is there. I, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> Rich is on a random roll. Picked these up from a friend of ours, I believe. Anyway, uh, just sold them via PayPal for $150 hairs. He's supposed to pick them up, I think, on Friday, but can't get them today, so he paid for them with his PayPal. Jeez, $150 speakers and $100 set of wheels? I need to catch up. While I finish up with that Third Eye Blind t-shirt, we might as well go over what's sold. We, we sold a couple things. Uh, let's just start over here. This was an Etsy sell. All five of these were purchased together. They are marked on the bottom 1983 and 1984. I was just talking to somebody in the comments about childhoods. Well, I totally forgot how obsessed I was with My Little Ponies when I was a kid. Loved these things. I uh, think we sold the set of five for 25 bucks, but let me double check. Yep, I picked them up for maybe four dollars. It was either four or five bucks from a thrift store. Sold them for 25 dollars over on Etsy. Frank Sinatra Trilogy on cassette. We picked this up for free at a yard sale sold it over on Etsy for ten dollars. Weird ratchet screwdriver. We got this for free at that everything is free yard sale and took a twenty dollar offer on eBay. It works. I don't know. I don't know much about that. And last we have the Magnavox DVD recorder VCR combo. I have no idea where we got this. It was in our big closet. I think it was one of our spares. I'm not entirely sure. But we sold it for 40 bucks because we don't need it. And I don't know why I hold on to spare VCR slash DVD players. It's just who I am as a person. Trying not to be a hoarder. 
definitely are not going to have spare VCRs lying around the freaking van when we van life. So it's got to go and we sold it for 40 bucks. Do you guys see this? Are you seeing what I am seeing? Why? Why? Why is this? It is July 30th. Did they change the, the, like, the date for Halloween? Is it different now? I do not understand this at all. I love Halloween, don't get me wrong, but I am not ready for summer to be over. This is slightly ridiculous. Back at the house, looks like the Stanley toolbox got picked up. I see the money poking out right here. Oh, there's quarters. That works, I guess. All spins the same. But this is still here. I don't know, I'm starting to have my suspicions whether this is going to get picked up or not. I'm telling you, you do this for a while and you absolutely get a like a sixth sense of who is going to be a waste of timer. Bring in the bed frame back inside and we'll try it again tomorrow. All this digging around and moving stuff, I keep finding all this stuff I totally forgot about. This is like a metal sign. I think it's aluminum. I'm pretty sure it was made to hang on a like a fence or a pole maybe. Don't mind my dog. He has no idea what is going on 90% of the time. Anyway, I think this is from like the 70s, maybe the 60s. But I'm going to list it for like 30 bucks and see how it does. I can't really find anything similar. And on that note, this is going to be the, my last thing of today. I'm signing off. Thanks for hanging out with us again today, guys, and we'll do it again soon.